Hello dear friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to build a consistent journaling routine. Because I have fallen off the wagon a bit <laughs> when it comes to my journaling practice. And I was thinking to myself, how can I reinvigorate journaling and make it fun and exciting again? And then I thought, Skillshare. Skillshare probably has classes on this. And they do. In case you don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes for those who want to explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. There are two journaling classes that I have been taking and I'm absolutely in love with. The first one is Simply Journaling by B.A. Burgess and Writing for Self-Discovery, which is taught by Yasmin Cheyenne. What I love most about Skillshare is the wide range of classes that they offer. We're talking photography, video editing, freelancing, design, creative writing, journaling, cooking, baking, the list goes on. The videos are curated specifically for learning, which means that there are no ads, and Skillshare is always launching premium classes, so you can stay focused and just follow wherever your creativity takes you, which for me has been journaling less than $10 a month with an annual subscription and most classes being under 60 minutes, it's really easy to fit into your schedule and take what you've learned and actually apply it in real life. Journaling is such a wonderful self-discovery tool, so I want to invite you to join me. The first 1,000 people to click on the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Again, I want to thank Skillshare for partnering with me on today's video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Well, hello there. It is January 25th, and as I mentioned in the intro, I'm journaling! And we're doing a fun journaling challenge for this whole entire week. So it's 6 13 at night on Monday. I did not journal this morning. I did not journal yesterday either. Okay. Got my pen, got my notebook. The only thing I'm missing is tea. So <laughs> let's go make some tea. today and journaling is that I feel like I'm struggling a little bit to get my thoughts down on the page because they are just so scattered, which I've noticed in the past, the times when I journal regularly and consistently, and especially when I do it in the morning, my day tends to feel a lot more flowing and I'm just more at ease because I got all the stuff that was up here out and so that I'm able to just go about my day move about my day freely without thinking without being almost hindered by my thoughts in a way Ugh, that's a five on the Enneagram for you a five and a three my goodness it's like I, I overthink everything I overthink doing things and so then it's like I don't do and I'm just overthinking it or while I'm doing it, I'm overthinking what I'm doing. My brain is a great place to be. <laughs> so anyways, those are my thoughts today about journaling. So I only got about half a page. I'm going to try to fill up this whole page because it isn't that much. And then we'll just see how things go tomorrow 
and the day after that as I am being more consistent. Again, <laughs> it's hard to explain this irrational urge to sit on the floor lately and journal. I don't know. I'm just over, I'm over furniture. <laughs> but it has been exactly six days of journaling, of consistent journaling. And the biggest improvement or I guess you could say the biggest thing that I notice after having journaled consistently for six days in a row is I just feel calmer. I feel less scattered and there's definitely more focus. There's more intention. So I've always liked that about journaling because it's a way to zone in on kind of like the petty details and the stuff that really isn't that important, but that is living in your head rent free. And you're just like, why are you here? Get out of my head. <laughs> and so I find when I journal and I'm able to dump all of those thoughts, it clears up space for new thoughts. And I always make sure that those particular thoughts are an improvement, that they're better thoughts, that they're more optimistic and more full of hope, I guess you could say. And one of the really powerful things about journaling consistently or as consistently as possible is being able to go back through your journals and look at the person that you were at that time and to discover the, I not even discover, it's like rediscover the things that you were thinking about back then and then to see where you are now and what you think about those things now and i have just seen so much growth in myself the things that i was worried about a year ago <laughs> heck even like six months ago three months ago two months ago the things that i was worried about or things that got me upset or where i felt triggered it's just amazing to see how i'll write about something that happened and i don't I don't go into a whole spiral about it anymore. It's just like, oh yeah, this happened today, but this is what it means. Like, cause I've just done so much inner work and I've done so much shadow work. And so that's a really cool thing to be able to look back and see, I don't know, just to actually see the, the growth and the progression of your soul and your understanding of the human experience. Journaling for me goes so much deeper than just writing down what you're doing every single day like that is a part of it to just kind of journal your thoughts and your feelings but i've noticed i've i've gone so much deeper in my journal entries like some of them really did exhibit existential crises like just thoughts that i was having where i was really questioning the universe and how things work and what it means to be human and that catapulted me into this spiritual journey and this spiritual awakening that I've been on. So it's just really neat to see that origin story and that origination point and kind of what prompted, it was a lot of things that prompted me to start walking down this, this different path or this path that just feels more aligned with who I actually am. So yeah, I say if anything, like journaling, if, if you have a hard time journaling, you have a difficult time keeping up with it and making it consistent, 
is to think of it as a really special time capsule. I also look at my books, the books that I've written as a sort of journal because it's, it's like a time capsule. You get to see where you were at in a certain period of your life and what stories, what thoughts, were coming to life for both fiction and nonfiction. This is the beautiful thing about creation and the beautiful thing about evolution is being able to watch yourself grow and to look back and see it happening right before your very eyes as if it's playing out on a movie screen. It's almost like collapsing time both in the past and the future because time actually is not linear, right? So, I don't know. We're going to we're about to get really metaphysical here. So, I'll I'll go ahead and stop myself and I'll save that for the inner divine podcast because that's what we go into on my podcast. And again, it's really cool to go back and and to read your entries from previous years because you'll find it almost starts to read like a book. Like you I don't know, you just start to realize like I'm the main character of this story and this is what I was going through and this is what happened and I made it through that and oh my gosh, like this plot is getting really juicy and it's just like the craziest thing because you've already lived it and you already know what happened but being on the other side of it and having a completely different perspective, man, that's, I think that's what people mean when they say past you, present you, future you, it's like all of them combining together into one. And that right there has really reinvigorated me to be consistent with my journaling practice. The ability to reflect and look back and to be able to look at your past and glean wisdom that you weren't able to at that time or to find new perspectives, new mindsets, new shifts, new paradigms, that is priceless. So that is it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope it inspires you to crack open a fresh notebook and to start journaling and start creating a time capsule and something that you can look back on and smile, especially with the times that we are currently in. <laughs> Again, I want to thank Skillshare for partnering with me and for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out that link in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next video.